Well, what the Prime Minister was talking about today was improving the health of women and young children in developing countries. He's at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. It's an opportunity for leaders to make their voices heard on the world stage. And Harper is facing criticism for refusing to use his voice on the most pressing world issues. Our Eric Sorensen is in New York with the Prime Minister. Eric? Donna, critics say the Prime Minister has disengaged Canada from the United Nations, but on one cause here, he is very much a champion. The Prime Minister was center stage for a global project he has helped spearhead, improving the health of women and young children in developing countries, the mortality rate far above that in countries like Canada. Harper is driving the United Nations to be accountable to its commitments. These goals are literally vital. Degrees of failure are not measured in dollars. They are measured in thousands of lives. So there can be no excuse for complacency. And I'm delighted to It was a busy day for Harper, meeting with Bill and Melinda Gates and other leaders at the United Nations. But where the Prime Minister was conspicuously absent was here, the General Assembly's temporary quarters, where other world leaders are speaking this week. We should be there. We should be rolling up our sleeves, doing our part, joining others to reform the UN. But vacating it will not help at all. In the last seven General Assemblies, Harper has spoken but once. In 2010, in Canada's disappointing failed bid for a seat on the UN Security Council. Canada has been a consistently reliable and responsible participant in UN initiatives. But Canada has become an inconsistent participant in areas such as peacekeeping, according to a group of Canadian international specialists speaking out this week. I think the truth is that uh, Canada couldn't, couldn't get elected dog catcher at the United Nations today. Foreign Affairs Minister John Baird, who has been a harsh critic of the UN in the past, was himself engaged at the UN today on the issue of forced marriages. He defends Canada and the Prime Minister's role at the UN. The Prime Minister's focus on child and maternal health today is phenomenal. Uh, uh, my department and my focus on uh, the campaign against early forced marriage, uh, these are tangible things that will make a real difference and Canada will have its uh, statement. And there is one area in which Stephen Harper does receive wide praise here for his initiative on women and children in need. And I want to commend Prime Minister Harper for your leadership. You give us a wake-up call. Previous Prime Ministers have also not spoken at the UN General Assembly some years, but the last two years, Stephen Harper has been in New York during the General Assembly and still skipped it. And some critics say that uh, he should seize the opportunity to put Canada on that world stage. Donna? All right, Eric Sorensen in New York. Thank you.